SMS Advanced users who have the Water Management module can build tile plans to be exported for in-field plow control. In this tutorial, you will learn how to build new tile installation plans, manage reference layers and tile preference settings, and how to validate and optimize tile plans. Before designing tile plans in SMS, be sure that the 3D surface has been regenerated and that all reference layers that you wish to use are saved in the management tree. Generating a terrain analysis data set can provide you with valuable watershed and drainage details and will also allow you to use some of the automatic design tools in the software. When you are ready to start designing your tile plan, go to File, New, and select the Tile Plan layer. You will be asked to select the Grower, Farm, and Field, which will automatically load reference layers for you in the Tile Plan Editor. Once in the editor, you can adjust your settings for the reference layers using the Manage Reference Layers icon in the toolbar. You can create the different tile sizes that you are planning to use in the field under the Edit Tile Section Run area of the screen. It is recommended to have something descriptive to assist you with proper selection. An example might be multiple types of the same tile, such as 4-inch perforated and 4-inch perforated with sock. Enter the form and size as well so that the other calculations work properly when sizing the system. Lastly, under the Edit menu, there is a Tile Planning Preferences tool that will allow you to save default settings. Under the Tile Settings tab, the default column will allow you to set the preferred settings for each run. The install range settings will be the maximums that you want to set. This can be useful to size your equipment or for soil types. This is also where you will set the drainable area for each type of tile run. For single runs, this will be the default value for the drainage area, but you can still adjust per run if needed. When you add multiple submains or laterals, the tile spacing will substitute for the drainage width. The Drainage Capacity tab is where you will enter what method you wish for the software to use when validating the velocity of your runs, either based on the soil survey data saved in the tree or manual settings that you enter. Checking the velocity will provide feedback on if a run is moving a low amount of water through a large pipe, which could lead to silting in, or if a run is moving a large volume of water through a small pipe, which could lead to erosion of the tile bed. You will also enter the target drainage coefficient on this screen, which is simply the amount of water you wish to drain from this totally saturated soil in a 24-hour period. Click OK after entering all settings. There are two ways to add mains and laterals to your tile plan manually draw all runs or using the more automated tools where the software will help design the plan for you. To start manually adding runs, click the Add Main tool and start at the location that you wish to outlet the tile system. Left click where you would like the tile to be placed. If you want a straight run, click the outlet side and then the end of the run. If you need a curved run, left click as often as you need to to make the run in the location you want. When complete, right-click to end. To have the software assist you in creating mains and laterals, use the Create Terrain-Based Main and Create Contoured Laterals tool available in the Special Tools section. After clicking on the Create Terrain-Based Main tool, select which of the three available methods you want to use. The Create Main based on selected watershed option is when the software will find the lowest point in the watershed as well as the lowest point around the edge of that same watershed and insert a main using the shortest distance between the two that still maintains proper grade. The Create Main based on selected outlet tool will build a new main based on a user selected outlet that follows the terrain of the field as far as the grade will allow. The most customizable tool, Create Main based on drawn path, will allow the user to draw the tile main in the same way you would with the manual tools, but here the software will automatically smooth the line to best fit the surface and how water will actually move through the field. The Create Offset Tile Runs along Created Main tool can be used in conjunction with any of these three tools and will build a double main, which allows you to easily create parallel runs around field obstacles, such as grass waterways. As you create tile runs, you will see the settings for the depth on the left. 
If you have a valid run, you will see the starting depth in the message box. In the center, you will see the soil profile for the run you have selected. And in the bottom right, you will see the statistics for that run. To manually add submains or laterals, go to the appropriate add tool and then go to the main where you would like to connect the first run. Draw these out in a similar way to how you drew the main. And when complete, you will get a dialog that will allow you to create a single run or multiple runs for pattern tiling. Select the spacing and the number of runs you wish to create and if they should fill towards or away from the outlet side of the run they're being connected to. At the same time you can select the tile size as well as the offset above the connecting run. The connection offset will be based on the bottom of the connecting main or run. So if the connection offset is 6 inches it will be placed 6 inches above the bottom of the main. To be safe, you can select that you have more clearance than needed, so the tile installation equipment has some room for error at the start holes for these connecting runs. Runs can be copied and moved using the tools on the right-hand side of the editor. Runs that extend beyond the field boundary or across an obstacle can be divided, and then the areas to be deleted can be removed all at once. You may also select individual or multiple vertices to adjust single or multiple points at once without adjusting the entire run. If you select the main run again, you will now see the position of the laterals as they connect to the main. The green line in the main will indicate the bottom of the trench where the main will be installed. The center of the black dot represents the bottom of the connecting run. So, if you have a zero offset distance, the circle will be centered on the green line. If needed, you can also zoom on the soil profile graph by clicking and dragging in the soil preview window. As you move throughout the field, you can validate the tile plan, and this will check all the runs to ensure that they all have a flowable profile, have the correct sizing for the area being drained, and desired drainage coefficient, as well as having the proper connection offset for the laterals. The runs that have a conflict will be highlighted in yellow and the lower left message box will show the errors that pertain to the run when it is selected. For any run that is not valid, you can either manually adjust the settings such as grade or tile size or use the optimize and trim run tool. With this tool, SMS will show you what options you have for making this a valid run. You can choose to apply suggested parameters to run, which will use the install range settings you inputted on the tile preferences screen to make this a valid run. If no valid solution can be found using your install parameters, you can also choose to trim the run, which means SMS will remove the portion of the run that is not valid, leaving only the positive flowing portion of the run remaining. The tile sizing tool will help you properly size your tile runs and decrease the size of tile being used as you get further from the outlet if applicable. You will see the recommended tile size based on the minimum drainage coefficient, existing tile product to use, and the length needed. You can also merge tile sections together to reduce the number of tile changes needed during installation. After completing the tile plan, you will choose to save this to your management tree, at which point you can edit further or choose to export. You have now created a new tile plan. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.